Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 25th episode of my Black Ops 2 Attachment Guide. In this episode, we're covering the dual band scope. We first saw an infrared optic in Modern Warfare 2, where the thermal scope marked targets white hot. Black Ops IR scope was similar, and we saw the thermal scope return in Modern Warfare 3 as well. In real life, thermal optical weapon sites do exist essentially compact digital imaging devices which operate in the infrared band. Such optics translate the emissive radiation given off by warmer objects into the visible spectrum, and as such will even function in pitch black conditions. This makes such optics valuable for nighttime operations, although infrared optics are expensive and do require a power source to function. In game, the dual band scope is available for the LMGs, sniper rifles and the crossbow. It is compatible with all other non-optical attachments, and can even be paired with the variable zoom for greater flexibility. In terms of effect, the dual band offers an enhanced view of the battlefield while aiming, one unfettered by obscurance. Enemies will be highlighted yellow within your scope, even through smoke or areas of poor visibility. The dual band term refers to the fact that this yellow hot infrared view is overlaid on a non-thermal monochrome green view, so you retain the ability to see terrain detail, along with anything else that doesn't show up hot. This is useful when tackling enemies with the cold-blooded perk equipped, as they won't be highlighted in yellow, so it's important to remain aware of non-highlighted threats. Aside from this thermal overlay this scope provides, there are a few other ancillary effects. LMGs see the benefit of a removal of the gun kick component of recoil, although this is tempered with a 10% center speed penalty. This will alter the LMG's recoil profile slightly, granting more predictable performance but potentially higher recoil over sustained fire. In addition, sniper rifles and the crossbow will see a 5% center speed reduction. Not a factor for the crossbow or bolt action rifles, but potentially limiting your maximum accurate fire rate with the semi-automatic options. Dual band is an interesting optical option with the ability to pierce smoke and quickly locate enemies within the bounds of the scope. It's a great choice for long-range maps with long sidelines, where the electronic assistance will help pinpoint enemies lurking on a distant hillside. Paired with a smoke grenade, the dual band can be devastating, as you'll remain invisible to most opponents while still retaining the ability to accurately direct your fire onto them. This inequity in visibility, a huge advantage in firefights. Cold-blooded enemies will prove a thorn in your side. While you can at least still make out some detail, the lack of illumination can sometimes leave you vulnerable. In lobbies where your enemy makes extensive use of the perk, it might be wise to instead opt for a conventional optic instead. Otherwise, the dual band is probably not the best option for close range LMG builds. As you lose the minimap while scoped in and much of your peripheral vision, it might be best to go with an alternate optic for closer quarters. Still, the dual band does grant a unique ability that can throw a curveball to an unexpected enemy prepared to wander with false security into your kill zone. So, if your enemy has you under pressure and the temperature is rising, cool off, grab a smoke, equip this thermal option, and turn up the heat. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me for the next attachment guide when I'll be covering the ballistic CPU. Until then, Farewell.